Okay, here in Memphis, Tennessee, we're at the Flavor House. Um, we went to the Family Dollar down the street and asked what's a good place to eat around here, and he mentioned this place, so Tasha and I are gonna come in and, and see what it's all about. Hey, how's it going? Oh, all right, good. Doing good. Hey, um, we was at Family Dollar, and a guy told us, I said, hey, what's a good place to eat around here, like a mama pop type deal? And uh, he mentioned this place. Flavor so what are, you, um, what are you known for? Uh, we known for lamb chops, uh, chicken and shrimp pasta. Uh, we got a nice little chicken or a shrimp filly, which everything on the wall is our top sellers. All right. So we got that. They, got, they, they don't just got the, the uh, Philly steak and cheese. You got the, sh the chicken and you, you said you got a shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, you got a shrimp on the chicken. Oh, wow. Real nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I'm glad we came here. So, where is this located at? Uh, it's located on uh, Summer Avenue, 6343 Summer, Barley, Tennessee. All right. Yeah, we just had the Buff City soap getting some soap. I got to smell good for my girlfriend, so I had to buy some soap. Oh, yeah. So, we came to this area. <laughs> yes, so, we're going to do that, and um, we're going to get this food. We're going to do a food review here and um, see how it is, see if it meets up to, uh, to what everybody's saying. All right. Take All, right. Care, All right. Thanks. Okay guys, we just ordered. Um, I have the Philly steak and cheese here with the uh, regular seasoned fries. Um, she had got the Parmesan chicken uh, with the sweet potato fries. And I'll shrimp Alfredo with the broccoli. So we're gonna try all these out. Like I said, this place was highly recommended. Um, so we decided to stop on in here. People want more uh, mom and pop style uh, uh, food reviews. So we do get, I got honey mustard, blue cheese. She will not be trying blue cheese. She doesn't like it. I got a sriracha, uh, a sriracha mayo based uh, sauce here. And uh, these are ranch. So what do you want? You want to try some of this first? I'm going to try my pasta. Okay, she wants her pasta first. Can I try some too? Yeah. It's gonna be like, uh, what is that? What's that movie with the two dogs and the pasta? No. No? <laughs> I guess I could put that clip in there, huh? Since you're not. Since I'm not with it. Since you're not gonna do it. <laughs> no, I'm is sure. Is that Dalmatian Hunter? No, it's not. Ooh, what's the name of it? I don't know. <clears throat> you won't tell me. I'm not good with movies or names or nothing. So I have to find it. <laughs> we're gonna do a question and answer after this, if the battery life uh, lasts. I'll do uh, on community news. We actually, I put a, a question uh, a question thing up in the community news on my homepage. Get the homepage at community and you will see uh, every now and then I'll put up uh, for questions for you guys to ask us and we'll answer them at the end of this. Okay, sure. Sure. Right All right. Can I get a shrimp too? I'll get one. You get a broccoli, get a whole bite of everything. Look at that cheese pull. Huh. I need a lot of help. Okay. It's really good and seasoned good. They put seasoning on top as well. I like it's a lot of sauce. I like yeah, it. Yeah, a lot of sauce. So they okay. didn't skimp on that. So that was really good. And the price point, uh, she didn't tell me how much it was because I walked out. So I cashed after the money back. She didn't want to tell me. This is only $12.50. $12.50. This was $9. Is it comes with the fries? Yep, it comes with the fries. So this is only $9. You can't get the chicken for $8 and then they got a shrimp you can add. Uh, and these are 10 for 10. 10 for 10, okay. And you get the, the, the fries, the fries with it, so that's a good deal. deal. Okay. All right, well, let me, um, let me try the regular season fry. Mm. I like these because they have the, the batter kind of on it, so it's like a rally fry kind of. Mm. You can have one. Thanks. Okay, those are good. Try your sandwich. And I should have got ketchup too. Maybe I'll dip it in some of this 
sriracha sauce. No? Okay. It's a little spicy. Did you try the sauce yet? No? Okay, she's not going for that. Do you want to rip that piece off or something? or? No, I'm just going to taste it after you taste it. Okay. Well, I want this. I want this side. Okay. I'll go for this side. I'll push something over here. No, it don't matter. Because you're going to eat that whole thing. I just want to taste it. Mm. Oh, my goodness. I see why you come here a lot. <laughs> there you go. That is really good. I like how the texture of it is too. It's not like a big thick piece where it's just chewy. Like it's like, it's really good. I don't know. I'm gonna wait on the wings for a minute. I think I'm gonna eat this first. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. I didn't taste everything from here, but right now. It got like a sweet little. Is that what this is? Like a sweet sriracha kind of? I'm not sure. It has the mayo in it, but I'm not. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll taste that. Wow. It is really good. I was gonna say, I'll save you a time. You don't have to. I'm good. Mm. You can have some more of this. Two if you want. Oh, and everything oh, is gosh. cooked fresh. It's good. Yeah, for real fresh. It doesn't take long as uh, either, so we was only waiting like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh guys, that is good. I wouldn't care about her, that's why I left her that much. I would sit there too long though. I can't promise anything. About the count. Try some blue cheese? What? It's good. I don't even see any blue in there. I don't like blue cheese. Okay. And I like the wingettes, but I'm gonna be nice and get the drum, the drumettes here. You can have that piece. You gonna be nice on camera. You want to dip it with ranch? Of course. Oh, look at you! Oh, I'm gonna get another drumette. How can I eat this one? Hey, thank you very much. Oh, ketchup, thank you. All right. I'll get a wing yet too. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Season two. Parmesan cheese. Um, these are, no, these are garlic parmesan wings. Garlic parmesan. My bad. They are good. And you know how I like them. I like them crisp like this. Yeah, I bake mine in the hard. oven. The way the, uh, like the frozen three pound, I bake them in the oven, take them out. I put, I season them the way I want, put them on, on top of the stove and, and get them crisp like that. That's my secret. It's still a secret because only three people watch these videos. <laughs> All three of you guys, please share. No, but I think we're, I think it's up. I think we're past maybe 40, 44,000. You're almost got a thousand on yours now. She's just getting started on hers, but please subscribe to her channel. Um, she's going to start going live in the middle of the boat, so when we go fishing, you'll see some live uh, fishing. I might catch something too. And we got sweet potato fries with this one. Oh, let me try those. Oh, those are good. Those are really good. It's not too much where it's too salty or anything either. So I'm going to try one without anything. I like the fries. I like, actually, I'm not a fan of sweet potato fries too much, but this is not too overpowering. Like, no, it's, it's not. I think I would probably order those instead of, because usually I order regular fries, and my favorite fries are pretty much rally fries when they, when they go to, like, like franchise videos, but I would get these over those. So, that's saying a lot for these. I'm going to dip it in what she told me to, or she'd be mad. It'll be a long ride home. Wow. Wow. I'm, I was going to take that from you and use that. You good. Is that sweet potato fries in this spicy sriracha mayo based dill is really good. Just say flavor house sauce. Flavored hot sauce? No. Just say their house sauce. Their house sauce. Okay. The flavor house sauce. Flavor with the A. 
I'm gonna dip this in some honey mustard. I shouldn't have done it because the, the garlic, uh, the garlic uh, parmesan is really good on it, but I'm gonna try. They get seasoned their food, I'll tell you that. Because you go places when it's bland, yeah. it's like, but the, the chef knows what he's doing here because this stuff is all seasoned properly. Really good. I was looking over to see if I saw him so I could give him a, a head nod. Mm. Really good, folks. Well, everybody that I've asked about this place, they would just say everything, everything's good on the menu. Hey, you have a good day. But I really want to try their lamb chops next time. Rosie, her friend Rosie was here. Um, uh, she, she got lamb during, chops. She, yeah, she came during lunch. They have a thing, no, in Memphis they have black restaurant week. And you just can go, like, I think you can buy tickets to where you can pay a certain amount and get stuff, certain things off the menu. It has to be black? No, it's just black owned restaurant. It's like black restaurant. Oh, I thought you get a discount. Hey, I'm associated. I get half price, half off, half off your discount. Okay, no. but is it just in February? Like Black History no, Month? No, it's certain, I forget when, but it's certain time of the year where they do like Black Restaurant Week where they highlight some of the city's black owned restaurants okay. so that you can go visit and try them out. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, when that month happens, we'll just make sure we make a note to do all that. Because this one here knows how to season, I'll tell you that. Yeah. But uh, the honey mustard with these regular rally fries are good. Oh, he also said he has a, lo a downtown location. And oh, the yeah. downtown location has a hookah lounge. Hookah? And, yeah. Hookah lounge and everything. Like more of a, like a, what do you say? Like just like a lounge spot where you can come in and chill. A meetup thing. Like meetup and drive. After office, I had a long day type thing, huh? I'm yeah. trying to get. I'm trying not to make a mess. Okay. That is really good. Yeah. Because most places you go to, when you order their Alfredo, I don't, don't want to say it's dry, but they don't give you a lot of sauce. And with this, you, you don't have, have to worry. drink a lot of fluid yeah. to get it down. Yeah. So it's a little creamier, I guess you would say. It's very creamy. Right. Well, they can see it. Look at that. Man, I'm glad we went to Family Dollar first. Dollar Tree. Glad I talked to people and say, hey. Maybe we went to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree? Is it Family Dollar or Dollar Tree? I just told you. What, Dollar Tree? Mm -hmm. It was a dollar. Well, I'm a social butterfly, people call me. People? And um, I'm glad I did talk to them. Yeah, because I didn't know about this place. I mean, I've heard about it, but I didn't know it was one here. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm finish these fries off with this honey. The honey mustard is good with these. That's really good. You can have the rest of it if you want, but since you already put it on my plate, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> so you ain't gonna argue with me? No, I'm not gonna argue, guys. Freaking delicious. Man, I like this. I don't know if I come back here if I want to even try the rest of the stuff when after I try this. But if everything like it, else man. is good, good like this, that was dessert. If everything's good like this. I'm gonna have to try at least everything once before I go back to this. Is that my rule that I have to do? Man, it's good, man. Real good. I like. I told him you know what you're doing. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Really good. And this only has bread on it, so I'm gonna dip it in that sauce. Man, that's good, guys. If you're if you're in the Bartlett area or downtown, downtown, and you like Philly steak cheese, I think this is better than Philly's. Philly uh, people from Philly, you're gonna be mad, but they must have came from Philly or something because that that was really good. I've never had a Philly steak from Philly. Yeah. I've never been. Everything yeah. really good. I just told them uh, about that Philly steak and cheese. I. When I find something I like like that, 
I don't want to try nothing else, but I'm, I told them my rule now is I'm gonna try everything at least once before I go back to what I what that one is. So I might find something else. Uh, okay, this, I'll try to get these. I told, what you want to say? Oh, I'm you sorry. Want to something new out. Oh. Uh, shoot. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna knock that. Can I check for a second and yell at you? Yes, sir. Uh, they got, oh, they got salmon too? Yeah, yeah. I say salmon to, pick, we got nice to salmon make people mad. Too. I say salmon. Nice salmon. <laughs> Slapping salmons. Yeah, salmon. Okay. Well, thank you very much, man. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Yeah. You spoke my language right there. Yeah, you wasn't even listening. <laughs> What's the FH? Hmm? Flavor House. Okay. So they got jerk tacos, not me, but not my name on there, but jerk tacos. That must uh, be what she get. Hot dogs, that's what that is? What? Uh, like, a, like a Jamaican taco? Jerk tacos? Yeah. It says jerk tacos. So what you gonna try? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. No, don't ask me. Don't ask you what you wanna try? A jerk I don't wanna try a hot dog. A jerk quesadilla. Man, it all is good. This this is like this this is like five star eating, folks. This is gourmet, gourmet cafe. That's what our name of our restaurant should be. Uh, well, yeah, jerk lamb chops. But yeah. Want to do another thing, or you want to do it now? Lamb chops. We try. We try that next time. We come back. Okay. Do you want to take them up on the offer next time? No, no, no. Just, just get something. I'm talking about next time I come back, I want to What are you in the mood for other than me? Look. What are you in the mood for? I just thought about what you said. What? You didn't pick anything, babe. Guys, this is freaking... I'm just going to show you the menu right now, but then I'll mess the camera up. Yeah. I'll do it later. I, 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 I will put this in just right... Just screens. Yeah. Right now. I'll put it all over the screen. You got to look looking crazy. Now I'll do it because I wanted to get her looking crazy. As you saw, they have a lot of great ideas up here. A lot of, it came to life here. All these, man, they got pepper jack cheese. They don't get the regular, just American cheese and stuff. They they have it seasoned with um, stuff you won't wear, like provolone cheese. You don't get provolone cheese a lot on, and that was what uh, was on the uh, uh, Philly steak. Uh, you get onions, peppers, provolone cheese, and their uh, special sauce. So they did have the house sauce on there. So really good. Um, do you want to try the jerk tacos? Let's go with that. Jerk tacos? Jerk tacos! Uh, chicken. Shrimp. Ooh. Half and half? No. Let's go with shrimp. No. Oh, you can chicken and shrimp. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm going to try those. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try that. Two oh, okay. well, heck, that's going to be. What do you want? I'm not going to be able to eat it. Well, it's going to be with you. I'm going to do it for an hour or two hours. You want to try, uh,. We're gonna try a slapping salmon sandwich. Yeah. Okay, let's. We're gonna try a slapping salmon sandwich. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna be too full. Is it? The salmon sandwich. Oh man, everybody, everybody. Yeah, everything. I'm glad. I'm glad we found this place. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna get a, a Flavor House jerk taco. Chicken and shrimp or just chicken or shrimp? Let's do one of each so we can taste the chicken as well. Okay. Yeah, so. this one. Okay. Are you doing both in them? Are we? Uh, okay, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Right on, man. Woo we just had a gold mine today, folks. And definitely, you're going to see, I don't know, maybe after we go camping, we're going to come back here and do another review. How about that? We can. I'm down for it. I'm definitely going to come back here. I was about to tell him about these these fries here before you said about the free thing, but these these are really good. All right, you have a good day. Oh man, we're gonna try it all. I just gave her a card. You think she got one? No. No? Should I run out there? Right? No. Ooh, I would have. Yeah, no. That's why I told you no. 
Yeah, these, I was I was talking about these before I was going to tell him these. I really like the fries regular, but these potato fries are uh, Yeah, anytime potato. I go to a place, I get sweet potato fries. Because most of the time they give you like a different sauce. And it makes it, I don't know yeah. what it does. It it's does. like it makes it sweeter. And this right here, she doesn't like bread too much. So I'm going to soak up this Parmesan garlic. Look at that love right there. Play some, yeah, got to play the music. This is good. Okay. And this is just a Memphis restaurant. It's not. No. So it's it's Memphis. not like the chain food ones we've been going to. Memphis and AKA mom and pop, but what would you call it if it's not like not mom and pop? I mean, it's a mom and it's a brother and sister. I don't know. It's a small business. Small business. Mm hmm. This would be a Corey Styles video because yeah. he does mom and pop uh, like small places. Business owners, yeah. Yep. He's actually doing a healthy uh, food uh, channel right now. Yeah, I saw that. I saw his name got longer on the thing. Cause the healthy first, like, living. Healthy lifestyle or something. Well, if I remember, Corey, I would try to put put it up. But if not, go to the Thick and Chunky Show with Corey Styles, and he'll probably have a link uh, to that channel up. Mm -hmm. I just subscribed to his channel last night. He just got it started. Oh, so he did a, a new yeah, channel? Yeah, a new channel. Oh, okay. So, I have to subscribe to it. So I subscribed um, on my ASMR channel and my regular channel. I got to stop, but it's so good. Yeah, you can say that for later. That heats up good. You know, because she doesn't like stuff heated up, like chicken stuff. It has to be heated like up in crispy, the oven. Yeah, like She's fancy. I mean, crispy stuff. I rather warm it up in the oven so it'll stay crispy. I don't like putting it in the microwave because then it gets soggy, and I don't like that. I don't like soggy fried chicken. Okay, so you want to say something fried for later too? You can eat them, babe. I'm trying to see what you can heat up later. Everything. Oh. Well. Cool. You can eat the fries. I'm fine. Okay. I'm trying to I turn the hole like off them. here. No, go ahead. No, I'll dip it in this instead, but. Just save me a little, like you can save me two wings and a little bit of this. You can have at it. Put all the trash in there for you. Okay. Man, this season's right here. Look at all the season at the bottom. I'm still in that. Man. Ooh, maybe you need a part-time employee to help out taste food. Did you check to make sure that was working right before you started? Yeah. No. The, the sound? The sound. Yep. Hopefully it does. Because I wouldn't want to do I, I I wouldn't want to do a voiceover for the whole thing, so we'll just have to come back and do another food review. This is good. I'm so full. But I'm gonna try them tacos. What else we get tacos and what? Salmon. The slapping salmon sandwich. Well, slapping salmon, folks, for people that want to Thank be you, politically. Why are you doing a food review and you're going to purposely do it wrong? So people talk about it. Salmon, quesadilla. Crazy, <laughs> deranged. <laughs> Crazy, deranged. Well, name calling. <laughs> you want some more of this? Don't eat my shrimp. No, I don't know. No, I do. <laughs> just, a, just a bite, and then you can put it up. Are you reaching over here? No more? Oh, you can. One more. Okay. All right. That's going to be dinner for her. If it... If you don't take a nap and it's gone. You want to start answering questions while we sit oh, here? Well, yeah, we can. We're going to answer questions now. That's a good idea. You are so smart. Well, we could have been doing that while we was eating, too. Uh, we could, but I was still talking about how good the food was. Okay, Krista Johnson. Uh, I am so excited for tonight. Nate has to be up at 5 a.m., but he is still going to watch. We love the lives and vlogs. What she was referring to of the nasty food May 2020 mukbang that I did last night. If you haven't checked that video out, please do because I spun the spin wheel. I did pickled pig's feet, two whole onions, 12 hot dogs swallowed, a partridge in a pear tree, 
No, not that one. You but need some cereal sandwiches. Yeah, cereal oh, sandwiches. Uh, two of those. Um, I did sardines with jelly and mayo, uh, and also did so donuts with raw egg. So check that video out. And I, I thank Krista and uh, her husband Nate. Uh, he had to be at work at 5 a.m., but he, he he spent $20 for a spin wheel, so I really appreciated that. Um, what is the spin wheel? Benito Garcia asked. Uh, that's what I just said, so I answered that two and one, but I wanted to put Benito's uh, name up there, so I really appreciate uh, you guys answering these questions. So uh, if you haven't checked that video out again, please check it out. Um, let me see. The spin wheel is actually something that he bought and um, let you guys pick different food combinations that he put on there. And you pay $20 and get a spin and watch him make a fool of myself basically <laughs> but um like pickle pig feet the worst thing ever so I uh, I put that on there even though I like I don't like it at all but you guys enjoy other people in pain so uh, I did uh, put that on there for you guys um, at first I let you guys pick what to put on there but now I do clearance items so when I go to Walmart clearance items stuff that weird to put together I did an ice cream salad as well the ice cream salad is ice cream with uh, light ranch dressing uh, so it's light it's already nasty uh, with cheese and bake uh, turkey bacon bits so uh yeah that, that went down so thank you very much uh and krista johnson asked well she didn't ask but she said an hour and one an hour and three minutes that was a vlog so she really likes the longer vlog so i really appreciate you guys for for that uh, gail uh just had on my uh vlog 146 i just read the email that she sent me of getting that t-shirt uh so that's well that's coming out later because this was coming out before so i uh, appreciate gail she likes the uh, the vlogs and the lives and uh do you want to read there's nicola jacobs i already read it it don't take that long oh i'll read it out loud then i was gonna have you read it out loud but they, i don't no, think I they heard it in your, voice, in your head I was going to have you read, just read, but it's not a question. So, Nicola Jacobs was just happy that they did she was doing a spin wheel. Yeah. So, I will put that comment up uh, for her doing that. Can't wait for the night. Whoop, 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 whoop. I think that's how she said it. No, maybe not. But uh, that was only not, not even nine questions and not even questions. One, two, three, four. We don't have one real question. One real question, guys. Um, so next time I put a uh, the questions up for people to uh, to do, um, please answer more questions. It'll be a longer a longer video. Um, so you can ask questions like, "What is this in my ear?" Uh, you don't say anything about questions on that post. Bro, well you know what? I'm on the wrong post. Wow. Reading is fundamental. Wow. Let me get off of that post. That's why. Jesus Christ. We need more questions. Oh, there's 20 of them. Well, I'm going to have a bit busy time editing this video now. Uh, let's start with uh, that one. Okay, two, Brandon and Tasha. What's the most terrifying film you two have ever seen? I think that had to be like when I was younger, like the um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. I'm but now they're not. They're not even they're scary. They're not really scary now. No. They, um. Yeah, Nicola Jacobs asked Brandon and Tasha, what's the most terrifying film you two have seen? And I'm going to say when I was younger, it was Poltergeist, first oh, Poltergeist, well, yeah. and then it was Nightmare on Elm Street. So I was scared to go to sleep. So, uh, yeah, I think every kid was. Yeah, but, but Poltergeist you know, is number one. Everything extra scary when you that little. Yeah, now it's like my stepdad wouldn't let, let me watch scary movies because I would uh, have nightmares. Poltergeist was that, 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 that right there. So... Let me see. Thank you very much, Nicola. And uh, Nathan Kitchen. This is Nate, that uh, that's Krista Johnson's um, husband. Uh -huh. um, so Krista Johnson and I love um, our shirts. Thank you so much. When are you going to get hats to go with them? We love the vlogs. Um, the hats, uh, my, the guy that does my logos doesn't have a hat machine yet, and I want them raised, like the raised uh, uh, stitching. So I'm gonna try to, he's trying to find a, a hat guy for me right now to do the raised stitching around the logo. Um, and I want a better hat. I don't want just a regular, just cheap snapback hat. 
So uh, I wanted a fitted hat maybe. Mm -hmm. But if I do fitted, I gotta do all different sizes. They yeah. make the fitted with the stretch thing, don't they? Like a you stretch know, I like in the back. The hat that I got, like yeah. it got the core. I'll, I'll go with those down. instead of snaps. What do you think? Yeah, the chicken fillet with the regular fries. I, guess. I don't know okay. if I ever do, but they said they're gonna make me a hat too and send it to me. So I, I wanna uh, I wanna thank them in advance for that. So thank you very much, Nate and Krista. Uh, Laura Baker, Brandon, what's your most memorable challenge that touched your heart and your most worst challenge that you wanted to walk away from? Um, the one that touched my heart, um, I kind of have two of them. Um, one of them would be the the uh, steak challenge. My, my stepdad, when I, I mean my dad, when I was 16, we went we went to uh, Amarillo, Texas, and he wouldn't let me try the steak challenge. Uh, so I went back at 39 years old and, and completed it. I gave him that certificate for Christmas. So that was my most uh, one of my most memorable that touched my heart. The second one would be maybe the stalker here that came to my uh, my, my food challenge. If uh, you don't stop calling me. <laughs> the Collierville. So that would be the second one. The third one, I guess I got three because my daughter came to a food challenge at Mama Capisi's. Uh, and I actually completed that the second time. Uh, 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 that's one video that's never been on here yet that I need to go back and do. Uh, the first one was uh, I failed it, and six months later I went back and finished it. Uh, and she was there, and I probably wouldn't have finished it if she wasn't there, but I didn't want to look like a failure in front of her. So she actually helped me finish that challenge. And she was at an Edison's one, but that was, that was memorable because she was with me. But uh, she came to both the Edison's ones, but the ones that, that the Monica Pieces was really memorable. So thank you very much. Oh, the one I want to walk away from? I'm not sure. Maybe the 112 pound hamburger that was real nasty. Oh, the hot one that I did that I wasn't even going to do. The, 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 the temperature, the temperature one. Oh. It was temperature hot that I had to pour a whole thing of soda on it. I just wanted to give up. I was, De De Deano's, Deano's in Louisiana. I was like, you know what? I, I didn't even want to put, post that video and you know how mad I was. I, I did put the video out finally. So that was that one. Uh, Jose Espinosa, Brandon, have you ever been in the slammer? Uh, yeah, I've been, I used to wake up there a lot um, from drinking. So drinking had a lot, uh, 16 years ago I stopped drinking, but yeah, um, I got like 25 revoked license tickets. So uh, I used to drive DUIs all the time. Thank you very much, man. And um, so I used to get, uh, go to jail uh, an awful lot. Not the state prison, but just uh, the county courthouses a lot. Ooh. Three months at a time, sometimes. Okay, let me stop this at Jose. So thank you, Jose. We're gonna pick up with Sarah in a minute, but look at this. And I'm gonna get a, a video of it. There you go, here's the video. Close up. Uh, it's chicken. And shrimp. And shrimp. Jerk. They tacos. are stuffed. Okay, let's try these out real quick. Sorry, Sarah, you gotta wait a minute. We gotta try this delicious food. They are stuffed. Get one on your side there. So you can see. Okay. I'm gonna use this like this, this one, I guess. This. Mm -hmm. What? Right. Oh. I don't know what happened to the um, to the camera. It shut off on me just as I tasted that last one. So guess what? I have to try another one. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't on purpose. I didn't do that. Okay. Those are really good. These are really delicious. <laughs> I'll say that one for you. Yeah, jerk chicken and shrimp tacos. Guys, yeah, really good. Mm. And they don't skimp on it either. Yeah. They put plenty of meat in them. That is good. Oh, good. Okay. You want to eat the other one? No. I'll put it for later. Oh, gosh. Okay, Sarah McConnell. Let me find out where you're at. Bam. Sarah McConnell asked, forgot to tell you, so there's another, another comment up here. What is the most memorable thing your grandmas had in their house every time you visited? My grandma McConnell always had double McGum and mother's taffy cookies. My grandma... Shanae 
always had a bag of mini powdered donuts and the little variety pack cereals. And she also said, forgot to tell you that my grandparents lived across the street from each other. As a kid, I thought your grandparents were supposed to. They lived in Meridian, Idaho, and I did a food challenge in Idaho in Meridian. Okay, so what did you, you your grandmother lived with uh, you because you took care of her. And actually, be Monday would be a year. Well, I grew up at my grandma's house. We all stayed at my grandma. But, yeah. Like, as she got older, I mean, I moved out. And she wanted me to come back and stay with her. But, yeah. As far as... Gordon? Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. It keeps on uh, cutting out on, on this. So... Uh, Sarah McConnell asked about her grandmothers and what about their house, the grandparents uh, that you mostly re remember. So, uh, yeah, the barbecues and sitting on the porch, ice cream, doing the uh, taking turns doing the ice cream bucket. But she would always have us uh, like cooking the ice cream on the stove, helping her stir it. But yeah, it was just when everybody would come over to my grandma's house. Mine, most mine is uh, my mom. Oh, man, I forgot too. She also used to do, my grandma used to do all the neighborhood girls' hair. So she would sit you in the kitchen on the stool and put the grease on the back of her hand. Because she used to do that Jennifer. Chair, yeah. yeah, she used to do uh, Jennifer Baker. She used to do her hair and me, Chandra, a lot of the neighborhood girls. But she was our hairstylist when we were little. Okay. Did you make up with you too or just the hair? No, just no hair. dress up? Okay. No. All right, well, um, on my mom's side of the family, I'm going to say my grand is still alive. My only uh, grandparent that's alive right now, she's 96. Um, she has a lot of stories she tells, but when my, being little, my most memorable of that of the house in the country, um, somewhere where we're trying to get, uh, something open not next door to somebody that's staring in their window. Uh, but... Uh, it would be breakfast that my grandmother cooked. All the, just a big breakfast of the curly bacon and all the eggs and biscuits. You said uh, curly bacon? Ba curly bacon? Yeah. I just ain't never heard nobody say curly bacon. Oh, it's bacon. bacon that curls up. I call it curly bacon. Like uh, curly greens, mustard greens, curly, I don't know. But it's, it's bacon that curls up. But uh, but that, and then my, 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 my grandfather told me not to shoot the uh, the, the martin birds because they uh, he, he was a farmer and they, they eat mosquitoes. So. I shot everything of BB gun that I could think of. So yeah, because you were bad. Yeah, whatever. It didn't matter if it was moving or not. Uh, and then uh, my dad's side of the family would be uh, all the uh, the fish and the cooking, the hush puppies, and and uh, that my grandmother cooked. But my grandfather, uh, we, Papa, he, we went fishing all the time. So we're about to go to to uh, fishing at a place where we've always been. Uh, so that's the first time I've been there since he's been uh, been gone. So. I mean, you can tell people when we. Cause that's a big lake. Real foot lake? I call it fake hand lake because it's the backwards from real and backwards from hand, foot. So I like to tell people where I fished and everybody will want to fish it out. But it is a pretty big, like seven mile long or something. It's bigger than, cause it was bigger than uh, the other one we was gonna go to. So we're not gonna troll the motor all the way. We're gonna have a trolling motor, so we're not gonna go all the way down the lake, no. okay? But we'll we'll be we need a real motor about for four or five miles because there's docks where we might have to stop there and I have to walk and get the car, give me some exercise get the truck uh, if the battery dies. We're gonna do that in one second or should we just go ahead and do that now? I mean, we could keep doing the whole thing and- we can't we do two do things at once. Okay, let's try this first and we'll get back to uh, tuna. This is So speaking of tuna, this is salmon. This is slapping the, salmon sandwich. You don't like me saying salmon because that's not the way to say it. It's salmon. Anyway. That's the sandwich. Okay. And what's all on there? Can you read that? Well, um, black and grilled or fried salmon served on a brioche bun with lettuce, tomato, red onions, and a cilantro lime aioli. Okay. Okay, you want to try a bite of that? We can take the onions off of my bite. Okay, I'll eat the onions.
I get these comments so I'm ready for them next time. Yeah, it just came off the grill. You want to do, answer one more comment before we get started eating it? Just so somebody no, wanted to jump in there. Not everything. We'll come back for some more, though. Oh, yeah? What do you like the best? We had the Philly steak. It's really good. Okay. We're going to try a lamb shot next time, but I had the Philly steak. Really delicious. Yeah, before you eat it. You want another bite? <laughs> yeah. I only had one bite. Yeah, I did too. Okay. It is really delicious. She's trying to take a bigger bite now. Look at that. Try to take a professional eater bite. Okay, you can kill it. Okay. I'm full. All right, I'm going to eat the rest of this. This is really good. I like that. Uh, what's that? Lime, is it lime and aioli? Uh, aioli. Um, cilantro and lime. Mm. I know some challenges, like food challenges. Yeah, I done some there as well. But I used to live in Plano, like right on the edge of. Oh yeah, okay, I've been there. Ah, uh, that's good. We kind of throw at me. Oh, I was. I'm just messing with you. Oh, guys, that was really good. If she wasn't as full, she probably would have ate that whole one there. Yeah. You gotta tell Daryl about that. He likes uh, salmon, right? No. Salmon? <laughs> okay, well, speaking of fish, tuna, tuna right here, tuna showgun. Question, did she really say that? <laughs> A lot of times she does. No, but question, do you think that you will completely retire from competitive eating or will you just take a break from it in longer periods between challenges? Is there a, a need to retire completely? Yeah, because I'm trying to live a little longer. So eating 10 to 12 pound pizzas is not gonna make that happen. Um, I will take breaks, a little more breaks to do more food reviews and less food challenges, but I'm gonna cut them down to five, six pounds and uh, do more mukbang type things and more uh, cooking vlogs when we get a house with the gas stove in the middle. Uh, uh, and garden, definitely garden, because I do my own cucumber, my own pickles. So I grow cucumbers, I make Kool-Aid pickles, the sweet and heat pickles. Uh, I like to make gooey, gooey butter cakes, banana breads. So I like to eat and cook. Is there another question there? No. Okay. And yes, uh, probably retire from that in, in, in probably a little bit. Um, Kristen Johnson, do you and Tasha have cookouts with her family or yours? Would love to see a vlog on that or some more family interactions. Um, I don't sit well with everything going on right now. Everyone has not been doing any family functions. I know Jennifer has one planned for I think next month or something. Um, just like a family family get together, barbecue or whatever. But um, we really hadn't had. Who made a chance a potato to potato salad? Was I supposed to say that? Who made a potato salad? Oh, Why? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no. Dude, but my, my mom is my mom is elusive, like a cat. She, speaking of cats, she owns a lot of cats. Okay, she's a cat collector. But you all see her. She's like she's running from uh, from the like the top ten America's Most Wanted or something. She doesn't want to be on camera, like the Columbiana movie. Yeah, she does not want to be picture taken or anything. Uh, my, my grandmother, uh, it's 96, she's the only one that she'll be on camera, and it's called uh, uh, Story Time with Gran, so when I do uh, vlogs it's about that. But that's the only person, really, but, but uh, my dad's side of the family, they don't really do any thing with Christmas and, and holidays, and usually I'm gone doing food challenges then, so. One day you'll see some uh, family functions. Which one now? Gail, Brandon, I would like to hear more about your younger years and struggle than beautiful recovery from addiction, from alcohol. How did it start? What made you decide to help Tasha what, to help? 
Natasha, what was your like? Well, let's get to mine, what she said. And guess what? If you scroll up to here, Gail said that she um, she just saw that video that I did um, from the um, alcohol video when I went to Ohio and I went to the, the AA house where it all originated from. That was 16 years ago and I was drinking like two-fifths of alcohol a day and like uh, smoking three packs of cigarette a day and I had I quit cigarettes 15 years ago. Uh, so uh, that is on that vlog called Akron, Ohio, uh, AA. So check that one out. Uh, and the second question was for Tasha. You want to read that one? What was your life before you met Brandon? Where were you born? Were you a single parent to your daughter? You mentioned you played sports. What kind? Um, I was very active as far as doing outside sports and uh, traveling and everything. When he met me, well, not long after, that's when I hurt my leg, so I kind of slowed down from everything. So I haven't been going because I would go play sports a couple times a week, volleyball, basketball, softball, whatever. Um, I grew up in Memphis. I lived in Irving, Texas, but most of my time has been here in Memphis. Um, what was it? Single parent. Single parent to my daughter. My daughter is my goddaughter. I've been knowing her since she was little. Um, I'll have to ask her as far as like details about that. Like, you know, talk about all that. I talk, yeah. We'll wait till she's on camera, maybe. And yeah. Well, we gotta. I'll ask her, but she may not care. Okay. Well, thank you very much, um, Gail. We're with Krista Johnson again. Are we allowed to send you things in the mail, like our business T-shirts and hats, or even fun things like you and Tasha like? Uh, you can. If you do food, you have to go through eBay or Amazon so they can send it. Uh, but if you do t-shirts and stuff, I, I usually wear this 99%. I'm like Spectre Gadget. This is my clothes I wear everywhere. But every now and then on lives, I do switch shirts for people to help their businesses out. Uh, you can do them in the P.O. Box. The P.O. Box is in the descriptions of the videos. So thank you very much, Krista and Nate. Uh, Sarah Bacano, what is the most? Okay, we already did that one. Uh, have you ever, Laura Baker. <laughs> have you ever done or wanted to do parasailing, water skiing, zip lining, or wingsuit gliding? I can tell you now, wingsuit gliding is not gonna get done. Oh, no, you don't like a sugar glider out there? It's no, no I don't. Wingsuit gliding. You're over no. water, right? Oh no, I know what that is. That's over the mountains. Oh no. Suit and you look like a little yeah, I probably, I probably wouldn't do that. Jumping off mountains and stuff. I'm but, not going to do that. But the zip lining, uh, the water skiing. I've done water skiing. I've never done parasailing. I haven't done water skiing. They have a zip line thing here at Shelby Farms. Oh yeah. I mean Shelby Farms. Well, we I haven't need done to it do yet. That. But because we always like me and Kendra and them always wanted to do, it, but we just never got around to do it. So that's something oh, so that I would want to do. Oh, so you're waiting on them? No. Okay. How did you get that out of what I just said? Because I was like, no, you I said they want to do it. Yeah, I was explaining. Oh, I was like, huh? Explaining like the bike how thing, I like knew. the bike thing that you didn't want to start biking. I told you I wanted to start that, and I was explaining. You just be jumping. I said because remember we was gonna go in St. Louis and we didn't get a chance to go because I told you we was gonna. You said you wanted to take me to that little park or whatever yeah, that they built park. for. Yeah. So no, I don't know where you be getting it from. But I want to do, I would try parasailing and water skiing, but, and zip lining, but the wings, no, not the wings. I've, I've yeah, actually- Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that one. I went skydiving before. I would do that again, but I'm not going to do the, yeah, the you wing have, gliding. You don't have- I don't think you have a parachute. You don't you have just, no little bitty one? I don't know. I like think a drag you just, racing car? I think you just got that little suit on and you raise your arms up and it got the little oh, yeah? flaps to help you glide mm. and I think that's all you got. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm not that. Well, the the closest I'm going to get to that is, like I said, I'll do the, um, the skydiving again. You got two chances to, to make it safely to the ground. <laughs> you got your main parachute and your backup. All right. Well, Laura, Laura Baker, thank you very much. Okay, Krista Johnson. I got you. This may be personal, but how do you pay for all the food you guys are eat when you go out? Uh, seem like it may be a little pricey for an economical guy like yourself, 
Love the re well, she means cheap. Economical. Yeah. And Love the reviews, marks. but adore the vlogs. You two are amazing together. Well, um, I am cheap, guys, but I do. I, to get videos out, I have to spend money for you guys to watch. So basically, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing. I wouldn't be doing this at all. I'm used to dollar chicken sandwiches. I call them dollar McChickens. Um, I'm used to that and getting like a water and just drink or a soda and just drinking uh, all you can drink there and sit there and, and do my editing. Uh, so it's uh, it's not really, there's some stuff that are, that's pricey, but a lot of it's not too pricey. I try to use coupons or my apps and stuff off the phone. So, thank you very much. And Albert Gardiano. Albert Gar Gardiano. Gardiano. Gardiano there guess. you go. What about doing a catch and cook video? We will be doing one of those. All right, really soon. So I, I think this will be out before. three, about two or three video. No, this will be out before. So probably in about three weeks or so, you'll see some vlogs. Vlog 148 ish uh, of food. Like there's gonna be four of them: of fishing, camping, and cooking. So she'll probably have to catch the fish if you want to see that. But they, somebody said at the, uh, the Salvation Army that we just got the, the two tents from, uh, that we uh, that there's good catfishing there. So we're going to do the fishing noodles. Uh, so hopefully we do really good on that. But, that's it. Okay. Well, that's about it, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. This is probably about another hour-long video, and I apologize in advance, but i got to get all the questions in. And the camera uh, cut off on me twice. I had to change the battery. So I do appreciate it. I want to... Uh, we want to thank uh, Flavor House for all their good food. We tried all this here. Uh, the uh, we tried the uh, um, chicken. We got the Parmesan garlic chicken. Uh, we got the Philly steak. Uh, we got the Alfredo with broccoli and shrimp. Uh, the jerk chicken and the salmon slapping salmon um, sandwiches. She she calls it salmon, but uh, I just do it to push buttons. See right there. Okay. Well, thank you again, guys. Please share the videos. Uh, go to Doug Garbage Disposal Facebook page. Um, if you haven't already, follow me and like me there. Uh, go to her channel. She's going to start in hers off. She almost has a thousand, and she does that. She can do her subscribers. Uh, she can do the uh, live in the boat. Uh, so if you want to see fishing live, uh, go to her channel and um, Hey Ashi Spacebar 13. Uh, and then um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends, family, even your boss. So I really do appreciate you guys, and until the next food review, so look in the comments, uh, the community news and, and the YouTube, uh, go to YouTube, my homepage, go to community news, and I'll have a section where questions, uh, you can ask us, and that's what we're doing here with the mukbangs and food reviews. So until next time, uh, thank you very much, talk to you later. GoPro, stop recording. Hey guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm having them all the way from small to 3X, uh, only in black right now, so just go ahead and look in descriptions for that. Uh, I do have uh, t-shirts as well. The name brand of the t-shirts are canvas. Uh, they are thick, they are soft, the logo wipes off like a bib, just like on the hoodie. So if you want those, please check in descriptions. Uh, they all are pre-washed materials, so they won't shrink on you. So check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that, because I do ship in U.S. and in Canada. If you haven't already, um, hit follow on The Garbage Disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff. Uh, please subscribe to my page. Hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos. And hit the like button if you like it. Other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day, unless you made other plans.